Assalamu alaikum. We have talked uh, about the problems associated with commutation in DC machines. Two important problems are armature reactions and NDI by DT voltages. We shall talk about uh, three possible solutions uh, to these problems that is, brush shifting, interpoles, and compensating windings. In today's lecture, we shall talk about these two solutions, and this third solution will be discussed in the next lecture. So let's first talk about the first solution that is brush shifting. So in order to discuss uh, this possible solution uh, to the two problems, let's, let's uh, first re revisit our understanding about the two problems that is uh, the problems of armature reaction and uh, LDI by DT effect. So we know that uh, due to current in the coils uh, of the rotor, uh, there is a magnetic field around the coils uh, themselves and uh, that magnetic field interacts with the magnetic field of main poles and therefore distorts it and uh, that uh, distortion in the MMF uh, is called armature reaction. This armature reaction has two consequences that is uh, neutral plane shift and flux weakening. So this, uh, these two effects uh, let's demonstrate it uh, with the help of figure that we have already uh, studied. So if there is uh, no current is flowing in the coils, we have uh, the magnetic field due to main poles and the flux lines are uniformly distributed along the surface of the rotor. These lines are shown by, uh, these flux lines are shown over here. If no current in the coils, so this is the magnetic field and flux lines. However, when load is connected to the machine, then uh, current uh, starts flowing in the coils uh, and uh, there is a magnetic field uh, and MMF due to current in these coils. That magnetic field is shown by these lines. These are the flux lines due to current in these coils and similarly here flux lines due to current in these coils. So now there are two magnetic fields and the interaction of these two magnetic fields uh, distorts the magnetic field around the uh, surface of the rotor in this DC machine. That distortion is shown in this diagram. Uh, at this end of the pole, the MMF due to current in these conductors and MMF of main poles, these are in the same direction, so flux density at this end of the pole increases. And at this end of the pole, uh, the MMF due to uh, current in these coils and MMF due to poles, these are in opposite direction, therefore flux density decreases at this end of the pole. The same is the case at this end, uh, here uh, both are in the same direction, so flux density here increases and at this end decreases. So what this, uh, this is called arbitrary reaction and what are consequences of it? In uh, case when there was no, uh, no current in the coils, this was the neutral plane. Neutral plane was here and uh, uh, now neutral plane will be shifted to a new location. So one consequence of armature reaction is neutral plane shift. The second quest, uh, effect is flux weakening. Although MMF at this end is increased and here decreased, that MMF is same. However, due to saturation effect as we discussed earlier, net flux uh, that is there in the machine will be decreased. What is consequence of this uh, neutral plane shift? We know that uh, commutator segments, uh, commutator is uh, on the rotor and that is uh, rotating. Commutator segments are also rotating. So there is a time instant when a uh, brush moves from this location, for example, to this new location. And it, at this time instant, the two commutator segments are shorted through this brush. And we know that there is a coil connected to 
these two commutator segments and each coil over here that behaves as a voltage source and if uh, two ends of voltage source are shorted that will be a that will be a problematic however brushes are placed such that the sharding coils will have zero voltage induced in it in them that is the coil which is sharp being sharded that will lie on the neutral plane however due to this armature reaction what happens is that this neutral plane has shifted so we were uh, we were assuming that no voltage will be being induced in this coil which is being sharded over here now this conductor is under the influence of south pole and this conductor is under the influence of north pole so in both the conductors voltage will be being induced and uh, this uh, sharding the two ends of the voltage source that will be a problematic so what is possible solution one possible solution is over here that is instead of placing the brushes uh, at this location that is instead of uh, sharding two ends of this coil at this particular time instant let's place the brush uh, at uh, this location corresponding to this time instant let's move it to this position that is instead of sharding two ends of this coil that is instead of placing brushes over here that is instead of placing brush over here we place the brush at this location and now the coils which are which will be being sharded will be over here and in this coil uh, no voltage will be being induced uh, however uh, there are still some problems because shift in the neutral plane that depends upon current magnitude of the current in the coils more is the current more will be the shift uh, and the current in this uh, in these coils that depends upon the load connected to the machine in case of a generator load is electrical load in case of motor load is some mechanical load and the current in the machine that depends upon the load that is connected to the machine more is the load uh, more will be the current and more will be the shift so this shift in neutral plane that is not fixed that depends upon the load so that shift in the neutral plane that depends upon the load uh, so what they do is uh, they place the brushes at some optimal location that is uh, the location at which most of the time machine will be running and that uh, location corresponds to rated conditions because most of the time this machine will be operating at rated uh, load so uh, shift in the uh, brushes uh, that corresponds to the rated conditions uh, so although not all of the time machine will be running at the rated conditions but most of the time it will be running at rated conditions and somehow this problem uh, will be resolved uh, however this solution this uh, brush shifting uh, does not have any effect uh, any solution to this uh, flux weakening problem therefore this uh, solution is only there in very small DC machines uh, and uh, is not suitable for big machines so now let's uh, talk about uh, the se uh, second solution that is uh, utilization of interpoles the second solution uh, to problems with commutation is interpoles uh, we know that due to armature reaction uh, neutral plane will be shifted and some voltage will be induced in uh, these in this coil and that is problematic because sharding two ends of the coil with some voltage uh, that is not uh, uh, suitable so what they do is uh, because uh, this coil is now under the influence of south pole why not to place a small uh, magnet over here which is north pole this conduct this coil is under the influence of south pole and to uh, to cancel the effect of this south pole we place a north pole over here and now a south pole over here this 
small pole is called interpole and uh, what will be its effect here there are two mmfs one mmf due to uh, the influence of the south pole and another mmf due to this north pole the two mmfs will cancel out each other effect and now again no voltage will be induced in these conductors because the voltage which is induced by the effect of uh, this pole is cancelled out by the voltage which is induced by the effect of this pole. Uh, these small magnets are in general uh, not permanent magnets rather these are electromagnets and uh, these uh, magnets are supplied with the same current which uh, is uh, uh, which is flowing in the machine that is uh, the current which is flowing in the machine is through these brushes and the same current is supplied to these uh, these magnets electromagnets so the same current which is flowing in the machine also flows through these magnets electromagnets what is advantage of that uh, more is the current in the machine more will be the shift in the neutral plane and stronger will be the poles to cancel out the effect of neutral plane shift so this is first advantage that is more is the current in the machine more will be the shift in the neutral plane and stronger will, the, will be the poles because the same current which flows in the coils is also shown in the electromagnets and stronger will be the poles to cancel out the effect of neutral plane shift this is first advantage there is another advantage we know that uh, the difference between motor and generator is the direction of current in the coils so if uh, the and this is the shift in the uh, sh shift in the neutral plane in the case of motor then in case of generator the shift in the neutral plane will be in the opposite direction so if uh, this this is the shift uh, neutral plane shift in case of motor then the shift in the case of generator will be when the same machine is operated as a generator will be in opposite direction uh, and furthermore uh, what we can see is that now this conductor which was previously under the influence of south pole is now under the influence of the north pole however the direction of the current in the coils has also been reversed and therefore direction of the current in this uh, coil is also reversed and hence the polarity of this magnet small electromagnet will also be reversed that is this electromagnet will now cancel out the effect of the influence of this north pole over here and hence this solution uh, works for both the cases whether this machine is operated as a generator or if this machine is operated as a motor so this solution will work for both the cases that is not the case for uh, this uh, solution because once the brushes are relocated uh, at some new location then this machine cannot work as if the, this is set for the case of motor this machine cannot work as generator because uh, in case of generator the shift in the neutral plane will be in opposite direction and there will be high voltage that will be being induced in the coils which are being shorted so compared to these two approaches this uh, this uh, resolves the problem of neutral plane shift uh, and the same machine can work as motor as well as generator for this possible possible solution if the brushes are relocated to uh, make this machine work as a generator then it will not be capable of working as a motor uh, in summary this uh, brush shifting approach is uh, less costly and it resolves the problem of neutral plane shift however once uh, the position of brushes is adjusted to work uh, that machine as a gen motor then it cannot be operated as a generator and vice versa so <clears throat> thirdly uh, this uh, solution does not resolve the problem of flux weakening and fourthly this LDI by DT uh, effect this cannot be compensated with this particular approach compared to that uh, for the case of interpoles uh, it resolves the problem of uh, neutral plane shift it also handles uh, this problem that is uh, once we have interpoles 
then <coughs> the same machine can work as uh, both uh, as a generator as well as motor. Uh, it cannot uh, resolve the problem of uh, flux weakening uh, and uh, this effect can also be handled by interpoles that is due to this change uh, in the position of brush uh, and voltage LDI by DT voltage is uh, produced in the coil and we can adjust the strength of these electromagnets such that it not only cancels out the effect uh, of this voltage uh, VBL which is induced in this conductor but in addition to that it also compensates for this voltage that is produced due to each rate of change of current so it also resolves this problem uh, in the next lecture we shall talk about uh, the third solution which resolves all the uh, these four issues however uh, that is associated with some additional cost